Right now, projects are at a standstill in Newport News. Last night, City Council voted not to approve the city manager's proposed capital improvements plan. This afternoon, City Council and community members are speaking out to get something done. 13 News Now reporter Nico Clemens explains what this means for the city. Tonight, all eyes are on the Newport News City Manager and City Council. No capital improvements plan means no projects in the city are moving forward for now. We gave you something that we thought was affordable that we could do. The CIP is the city's five year plan that creates a schedule and a funding strategy for high priority capital projects and equipment purchases. Councilwoman Sharon Scott was one of the four council members who voted no. She says that the proposed CIP pushes back all large projects in her district. The North District. I wasn't proud that the TIP failed, but I was I had to, I had to uh, stay in my position, which was represent my district. The proposal includes investments in road projects, the Warwick Boulevard Denby area, and schools. More notably, building a new Huntington Middle School. That doesn't mean that uh, the North District should make the sacrifice because the South District leaders wanted that Huntington Middle School to be built in their district. Mary Vaz is a member of the Newport News Education Association. She says she supports the decision because if City Council approved the proposal, the CIP pushes back other projects like a new library and aquatic facility at the Dimby Community Center even further. Which just isn't fair. Um, that's not really following the one city concept. You know, all of the city should benefit from public projects. So if over half of a group of people have concerns with something, I think it deserves another look. The city manager and staff will now take another look at the proposed CIP and bring it back to city council. In Newport News, I'm Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.